Hi, today I'm gonna talk about tests, test-driven development or software implemented the right way. Yes, this is a subject that I really enjoy. Uh, I'm sharing on my GitHub all the things that I'm learning by following that uh, development style. Uh, and it is important to connect test-driven development following the approach outside in, uh, in other words, from the consumer perspective first, and hexagonal architecture style. Okay? I'm trying to connect all this, uh, and the result will be clean tests and a clean architecture implementation. Yes, uh, let me share a small slide. Yes, uh, I think uh, you, you can see that this is a hexagonal architecture style. So you have on the left side, the primary actors with unity tests and another application. On the right side, the actors that are affected uh, by the application or a database or a web. Uh, so primary and secondary actors. And on the middle, uh, the application which expose interfaces and the adapters that implement them. So ports are interfaces and adapters are implementation to external actors. Yes, uh, I introduced the idea of test-driven development following the approach outside in. In, in this case, is tests that are targeting the application use cases. And what I need you to understand is your Unity tests is your first consumer. So whenever you start an application, you don't need to worry about uh, if it is a web application, an Angular application, web API, or even a console. So Unity tests are your first consumer. It will guide you design the interface that you are going to use. This is the first connection that you have with interface regulation principle. So you are going to provide the best interface for your unit tests. And the result also will be application use cases that will follow the single responsibility principle. They will be concerned only about the usage from the unit tests. And uh, now there is the, <laughs> the mystery. Should I implement communication with the database? Should I implement the communication with cloud services? Yes, the answer is no. If you are willing for clean tests, you should uh, have fake implementations of these components. But that's the catch uh, that I want you to learn. Uh, I, I'm, I'm seeing a lot of applications that if they need to communicate with a, with a database, they start mocking, uh, mocking all the operations. If they need to communicate with a cloud service, they start mocking. What happens with the applications that uh, follow this idea? They simply get rot. Uh, I, I can say that writing tests is expensive. Writing tests in the bad way is <laughs> totally waste of money. Uh, throwing money away. Why? Uh, the, the main critics about test is that they are not production code. Uh, and whenever you start mocking and you have opened that C sharp file with uh, hundreds of lines of arrange part, which are setting up the mock operations. First thing, it's uneligible. I can't re read them. 
it's just dummy code. Uh, they can't run. They probably don't match uh, on the behavior of production. Or if they are matching, um, it's a lot of effort to keep them. So my suggestion for you is to, instead of mocking, start by creating a fake implementation of your interface. That is the dependence that your use case are depending on. And the interesting thing that you, you have on the benefit is that later on, you can completely run your application using uh, all these fakes in a way that it will be standalone. So if you have a database and a cloud service and you have the proper fake implementations, you can run your tests uh, that you uh, perform against the application use case, but they will be setting up against the fake implementations, which is totally beautiful. Uh, <laughs> I, I hope you, you learn with that. Uh, what I can share with you is check my GitHub. There is an application called to do, uh, which is showing that idea. Yeah. I think that's all for today. See you.